Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Levi Giles. He is fighting Michael Gomez Jr. 25th of March, Manchester Arena for the vac well, is it vacant? Yeah, it is. The vacant yeah, yeah. super featherweight English title. And um well finally you've got your your opportunity. Uh because your fight against Liam Dillon got ca well, the whole show got pulled. Yes, mate, it did. Um, to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you the reason now why the um show got pulled. But it was two days before the um fight was meant to take place, um, at the Magna Centre. Um, I did about two, nearly just touching two fifty on you know on tickets and um. I got a phone call saying the show had been cancelled. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're here now, mate. So, putting mm -hmm. that behind us, or me and Liam will fight in the future. Um, putting that behind us. All um, eyes on the 25th. Well, you know, in a sort of a way, mate, this is a better, this is better for you because your, your chief support, as you just said, to um, Lawrence Acoli at Manchester Arena... Um, live a uh, live on Sky Sports, so in a way, it's kind of better. Yeah, um, I mean, exposure wise, it doesn't get any bigger, mate, does it? We're um, you know, live on Sky Sports, um, chief support. Um, it's nice that Ben Shalom's give us a um, a chance. I think you know, on paper, it's a good fifty fifty fight. Um, I'm expecting the best. Gomez to turn up on the night um, and I'll certainly be turning up there to do a job on him. So, yeah. Yes. So, um, of course, um, he is, well, he's 18 wins, one defeat. And have, did you watch his his last fight where he won the area belt? Um, no, I haven't, I haven't actually seen any, I haven't seen much on him. Um, I don't really watch opponents. So I just let um Matty and Andy and Dan, my coaches, they, they, I, I let them do the um research, mate. I let them watch him. Um, I've seen a couple of clips, but I think I've seen enough to be honest with you. Um, mm -hmm. well, I know what I, I think I know what to expect on the night. Um, I definitely will have to go looking for him. That's for sure. Um, as I don't think you know he will have to go looking too hard for me either. So I think the fans are in for a real treat with this one. Um. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a good night. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really working hard, really training hard morning and night around my job. Um, Stone Steeler. Yeah, you know what, mate, I do. Um, I'm, I, I, I've seen a couple of names on the card, but I, I think this is going to be fight of the night. Yeah, I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, it is. So yeah, I'm ready to uh, put on a good show. And um, what, what does it mean to you fighting live on Sky Sports? Oh, I mean, at the minute, it's massive, mate. And I, I think, I think with with the zone, I think the zone's on the decline. I think that with the prices going up, um, they're in, you know they're not putting that many great fights on, other than Lee Wood the other day. That was a brilliant fight. Mm -hmm. I think, Lee, I think Lee Wood was well up against Lara. Um, but one shot, that's that's boxing for you against a big puncher like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's on the decline. And I think, I think as far as you know, as um, big promoters go, I think Ben Shalom's the um, the runner up at the minute, along with obviously Frank Warren. But I think that boxers really, really um, number Still one in bright. Britain for me, mate. Um, they're putting on some great shows, and I'm really looking forward to fighting at Manchester Arena on the 25th. It's a great opportunity, so I thank Ben Shalom and obviously my manager Cal Grease for getting me the opportunity. Mm. Um, ready, mate. We're ready to go now. Do you? Because if you win. Um, you'll be wanting to fight more on the TV because when, not if you win, when you win, shall we say? Um, That's the one. You'll be wanting to fight on the TV because. Yeah. I mean that's 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 it. That's been a dream for me since you know since I was a young lad. To um, when I first started in this sport, that I, it was a dream, you know, to fight on t television. Um, and it's 
it's here now, so I'm going to take the opportunity with both fans, mate, and I'm going to make sure I come out victorious on the 25th. I ain't got a, me and my team haven't got a doubt in our mind that we're going to um, beat this kid. Um, I know it won't be easy, but mm -hmm. I know I takes to beat him, and I will do that on the 25th. Yeah, 100%. So, how's camp going? Is it going okay? Yeah, I mean, we was, we was in... Um, we got told a couple of weeks ago now, even though it's only just been announced. We, I think we've had about five weeks. Um, but I was prepping for the 22nd of April anyway. I was in camp. Um, as far as camp goes, you know, I'm training all year round anyway. But I was I was training. My weight's coming down. Um, every the sparring's going really well. I've got some. I've I've been sparring some real good kids. Um, but yeah, as far as preparations go, mate, this is um, we're well on route. Yeah, this is. I feel fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 how hard has it been, like, at, to get back in the gym when these fights have been cancelled for you? If I didn't have bad luck, mate, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Um, but yeah, I've just carried on training through it. You know, the, the English title that that one was a bit. Um, yeah, that that one got me a bit because you know it was literally a day before I was on weight. Um, the camp, the full camp was done. We did a really hard ten weeks, but it, it happens, don't it? I suppose it's just one of them things. But all the bad luck's turned now, and it's um, it's come good. So, mm. yeah, I'm just going to take the opportunity with both hands. Who, who have you been sparring? Um, I've been sparring plenty, plenty of good kids. Um, lads from Leeds, a couple of local lads. Um. All lads that are around the at that English level, or and you know, and we're all on on the um, route of bigger, bigger things. But yeah, it, it's hard to get a, a replica style of that. Of you know, you, you can't really get a style that replicates an opponent because you know they're in they're in one of them. But he is quite. I think he's quite basic, Gomez. I don't. I feel like he's tough. Um, good engine on him, but I feel like he is very, very limited, and. I think we'll exploit that on the 25th. What does the English title mean to you? Oh, everything. You know, it's it's such a door, you know, it opens so many doors. Not only with it being on a really big platform, but it opens so many doors. And this and this what this super featherweight division is is wide open. You know, the British is vacant, the Commonwealth's vacant, you know, you've got the the um I'm not I think or if the Europe Vacant. I'm not sure if Zelfa vacated that when he fought for a world title. Did I, you I see know. that? Um, that the guy Dylan was meant to be fighting for the British. He's fighting um Zelfa. Hey, I tell you what, that that Delgamari is a shit house. Like that, that's a that's a real shit move. That from um from Delgamari and. You know, his camera probably could, he, he, he pulled out of a fight with an illness, but then he takes a fight a month later, you know, on a bigger show. He, or the, or the, they, I think they knew it. To be honest with you, we said that I thought Liam would win that fight anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I'll probably stick by that. And, and no doubt in my mind that I'll probably meet Liam down the line. I'm prepared for that. So you, but I yeah. know you're not looking past Gomez, but you never know later on this year, you might have to fight Liam and. Yeah, you know, for a big title, but that that's that's the last thing on my mind. Every everything that's every hard every hard work, the early mornings, the late nights, this you know, the weekends away. You the, focused oh, on Michael. Yeah, that that's all my focus is on that fight. I'm not looking past that. Yeah, right. sure past that. Um, I know it's going to be a tough night, but I know with, with um, if I turn up, then you know the best me. It beats it beats him hands down. Do you think the pressure's more on him? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, he's he's a son of you know his dad. His dad was um, a decent fighter, wasn't he? You know, um, Michael Gomez was a good fighter. Any British, you know, anyone that watched boxing back then knows he was. You know, he was a real tough, tough man, and he was always involved in good fights. Uh, win or lose, he was involved in um, some quite good wars. Um, obviously, so do you feel out. like? Um, people are looking at him like he's going to be like his dad, whether the pressure is more on him. Do you feel like you are the, do you like, do you feel like you're the underdog? I feel like I'm going in as the unknown. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like um, 
you know, not many people even know where Grimsby is, let alone what's in it. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm going in as an unknown, and I feel like I, I'll just I'm going to show him what I'm about on you know, like I say, the biggest stage. I feel like you know his name, Gomez. But it's just the, in my it's just the name in it. You know, his dad was his dad. I think. I think when you when your dad was a champion in, in put, you know like, they've put weight on your shoulders like Campbell has like they've got them pressure you know your Connor Benz um, your, your Hattons your Eubanks you, you know and I feel like they've all got pressure on them because people expect them to do as well as their dad but you know it's different the, um but that, that that's just the way it is isn't it but now I don't I don't feel like he's... I don't, I don't feel like he's definitely not as strong as his dad was. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll tell when I'm in there. Um, it's quite easy to say from the outside, which, you know, if you ask him, he'll be very confident as well. And I expect nothing, le nothing less. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So do you, going back to that Alex, um, I can't say his surname, but do you think Zelfer will beat him? Because no yeah, offence yeah. to him, I reckon Zelfer will beat him in five rounds. But all the best to both. Yeah, but you know, I know Zelfa. I know, I know that, that I don't. I mean, I know I don't know that Alex, but I've met Zelfa before. We've both sparred Warren, and um, but I, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like it was a shit house move, and I feel like um, <laughs> I just shit house. I really do. Um, and if he was to come through that fight, then which I really don't think he will. And if he was, I'd I'd love a crack at it, that. Um, and, I, and I imagine Liam will anyway, because that was a to pull out and then taking up, you know, pull out with a, uh, an illness. What it, I'd, I highly doubt he had to take another bigger fight for probably more money. It, it's just a shit house move in my eyes. But if it makes money, it makes sense, I suppose, if that's the way he wants to do things. But the British is huge in it. So he, pff, one of them intercontinental Lots titles. Lots of fighters I've interviewed that, that they'll. That the British means a lot because the British is a good title to hold. Any title, you'll be proud to like have. Yeah, any title's great, isn't it? You know, but yeah, um, the British is yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, um, but for me, that I'm you know I'm nearly there now with the English. That's the English is great. So I'm gonna um, everything all eyes on the twenty fifth. And then I hope I can put my thing up, upon them names. That's what I want further down the line. But nothing, obviously, not looking past the twenty fifth. Are you, are you a bit? When your fight finally got announced, were you a bit relieved? Yeah, you know what, mate. I, I've had that many, that many pullouts. I think, I think I'm not even over exaggerating. I think I had seven different opponents for a Midlands title and seven pullouts. Um, oh, so were you? But when you were waiting for this, like when the pullouts, were you just, you know, tr you were trying to stay active. Weren't you just try get the Midlands? Uh, and, you know, I, vacant. I wanted to win the Midlands title. Like, like, you know, that's um, I thought that was a great stepping stone first, but we tried so many different opponents and we couldn't get one. So, obviously, the next step was right, we've got to put ourselves mandatory for the English. And then, obviously, the Liam Dillon fight that was it's just a shame what happened there. And but I, I got back in the gym and you train hard, that's what champions do. So, I think I've got that mindset where. Yeah, if you're going to succeed, you'll succeed. So I just kept training hard, and now it's we finally got a date. But until it, um, until I'm the opposite side of the uh, ring to him, and the bell goes, and I will believe it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure when it you're in the changing room, you're like, you know, but... yeah, for, a relief that we're finally there. Yeah, definitely. Do, for anyone who wants to come and support you, and uh, yeah, to to watch you win that English, how much? Uh... Yeah. The tickets. So uh, the very so I have got a link, um, but I've I think I've only got hundred tickets left on it. Um, and what, I've just put in just doing so well with them. I think I think, mate, I'm going to be taking about anything between three and four hundred people down. It's a it's a long drive to be honest from Grimsby to Manchester. Um, but um, yeah, the support's been absolutely fantastic, and it's just going to keep going and going and going. But yeah, the tickets vary, mate. There's like forty pounds standards. Then you your sixties and your eighties, um, hundred and fifty pound for a floor seat, and then your two hundred ringside and two fifty VIP. Yeah. Um. But, but yeah, there is. But yeah, the, the support's been absolutely fantastic, mate. To be honest. Um. That's good. Keep growing. 
especially after this fight. Yeah, because it's best. I know. I know fighting on Sky is good, but like if you were fighting, it's just it's even better that your chief support because then like the whole stadium, everyone would be in their seats. So yeah, that would be growing you know, your fan base as well, which is good. Yeah, yeah, like you say, mate. I couldn't. It's uh, your profile goes up. Yeah, definitely, and. Um, I, I, I thrive under that 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 pressure. I you know I can't wait. That's the um, these are the nights that I've dreamt um, from being when I first walked in the gym at nine years old to now being you know nearly um, nearly twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Did you watch um the boxing on Sunday? Um, what is that the um the um Tommy Fury? Yeah, I wa I watched the um. I did. I watched the um, Badu Jack fight, the Macabu. You know what? Jack, I thought Jack really rolled back the years. He looked brilliant. Mm -hmm. I think he'll, um, you know, I'd love to see him in Lawrence Acoli or, you know, someone like React Paul or someone like that. I think he's. Or uh, Bill and Smith. Yeah, you know, yeah, well, if, if Bill and Smith, he, he does deserve his. I've done it. So, um, I feel. Uh, oh, he's gone. Right, guys, we lost a bit of um connection, but we are back. Um, um we were talking about Badu Jack the uh weren't we? Yes, mate. Yeah, well, I, you know, I watched the fight. And he looked like he um he rolled back the years. He looked really, really good. Um, fair play to him. Yeah. Um, and like I said, it'd be really good to watch him against the other champions. Obviously, a Coley being uh, one of them. Yes, and um. Because Akoli, of course, is main event for your um your card. Um, he's yeah. against David Light. I think he's a mandatory. And um, who do you think will is gonna win that fight? I think Akoli will knock him out probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he'll stop him. He's he's a big hitter, isn't he? Akoli is um he's he's training with uh Sugar Hill now, and he so change trainer. Yeah, I think that'll be a um. I think that's a good link up. I think yeah. he'll uh, do. I think he'll beat Light in um five rounds. Yeah, I do, mate. As well, I think as soon as he lands lands properly and starts letting him go, it's done. Yeah, that's fair enough, mate. Um, do you think you're gonna get a stoppage, or if it comes, it comes. Yeah, it's one of, you know, I don't go looking for it, but I do feel like um I feel like he's very open to uh, shots, but we'll exploit that on the night. So I'm not gonna say too much more. But yeah, if, if it comes, mate, it comes, and if it don't, then it's just um points will do. As long as I get my hand raised at the end of the night, that's all that matters. All the all the the main thing is that you get that English title. Of course it is, mate. You don't care how you win, but that that's all you want is that belt. Hundred percent. Yeah. And did I, you watch it all and Tommy Fiore? I I did, mate. I did. What's your <laughs> thoughts on that one? Um. Well, great businessman. I give him that. Um. Obviously, for the boxing world, I'm glad Tommy um won. Even though I think he made very very hard work of the um fight itself. And I do feel like um, a good cruiserweight, you know, gets rid of gets rid of both both of them within early rounds. But like suppose, the Dow Riley. Oh yeah, I f yeah, they're not they're not on that level either. You can see that it was. I tell you what, if that fight was on an undercard, it was a good eight rounds, bit scrappy. But they definitely, you know, you, they shouldn't be, be paid millions for that standard of boxing. It was absolutely. Mm -hmm. But, um. You know, you could argue that he's bringing new eyes to the sport, but then other ones, it's kind of making a mockery of it. I don't know. It's one of them, isn't it? But I tuned in like... Um, Everyone else did. 9% of the uh, world to yeah. watch. I mean, he did get dropped in that last round. I mean, I thought Tommy was quite a bit ahead, but I thought that knocked down because it was Jake Paul's kind of show. I, I kind of expected it to go to Jake, but I how re I was very relieved when uh, Tommy won. But yeah, really, I, mean, I reckon if, if they fight someone like 
Chev Clark, Vidal Riley, they'll both get beat. Oh, we've on, yeah, with that, they're not on that level yet. You know, that you can see they're both wrong, obviously. Um, the neat, they've got a long way to go before they reach that level yet. Yeah. I was gutted for um, Deck because he was meant to fight Chev, but he's been forced to retire now, unfortunately. But Deck had a very good career. Good friend of mine, yeah. We, you know, we're both on the card. I've boxed on decks on the cards. Um, I've seen him box a few times because he's been down Grimsby Way as well. Um, and yeah, I just wish him all the best now. I hope I hope he finds happiness in um without boxing, you know. Uh, and I know, but I do know he's PT in and stuff. So I imagine it, you know, he'll be able to um yeah have knowledge what he's picked up over all the years of his um fighting. Did you see his fight against Zoro? Yeah, I did. Yeah, great fight. I mean, great finish. At one point, he looked out of it, and then he come back. He's a yeah, real. He's got a big heart, as that. He has. Yeah, I was there, and the atmosphere was crazy. Yeah. Oh, was it? Where was it? Where was it? Your call. It was your call. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought he. I thought he buzzed him. Um, was it round seven when Deck really caught him? I thought he could um get pull him out here, but yeah, he's um great fight. Really good fight. He's always he was always in the ding dongs, like. And he was always in wars and heart of a warrior. He, he, he I mean, he's what English lightweight, uh, light heavy, not lightweight, light heavyweight champion. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, he fought Yard, Lyndon. Yeah. Even though he didn't get the results, he still fought them. I think he's yeah. fought Pisses as well. Um, yeah, Shaq. the current English champion Joe McIntyre. There's, yeah, yeah, so overall he's had he's had a great career and he should be proud of that. It's just yeah, oh, hundred percent. At, yeah, at the end, he just wanted to be a two way English champion, but unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. But you know, that was a great fire, and I'm sure oh, he's happy with his oh, career, mate. In boxing, um, you know, you especially in you know he's got a family and stuff, so hope's important. Um. But yeah, I'm sure he, you know he's happy and he'll be he'll live a good retired life now in uh, whatever he does. He's got a lot of knowledge to pass on to others. Yeah. And um, so what gym do you train at then? So I train under um, Matty Teague, uh, Andrew Blackett, and um, a good friend of mine that's coming to um, he's going to be coming into the coaching team. He's just applied for his license. It's going to take a while to come back down west. But I fight out of the uh, Grimsby Amateur Boxing Club, which, I, I, to be honest, I train now. I don't fight out of the club, obviously, because it's an amateur club. But I, I do fight out of... Deck train with um, what they called... Um, I forgot. So, their gym begins with O. What is it? Uh, it uh, I don't know, but... Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. I just can't remember the... Um, Name the name, but yeah, I train with uh, Neil Loss as well. That's it. I, I fight out of fight ministry. Yeah, that's fair enough, mate. And um, before I let you go, mate, um, you, you know, manage. Do you want to shout out manager sponsors? Anybody? Um, I, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll probably miss one, so I won't shout them all out individually. But yeah, massive shout out to all my support, um, all my sponsors, um. But obviously, my coaching team, from you know everything from that, from me that, from my family, especially the um, better half, she puts up quite a lot at home, makes it as easy as she can. So yeah, um, other than that, mate, yeah, um, we're all good. We're all good. We're all set now for the twenty fifth, and we're all all positive vibes. There isn't one doubt over here that we're going to go in there and do a job on him. Yes, mate, I know you will, and um, good luck, mate, and go and get that, uh, go and get that strap, mate. Yeah, go and get Thanks. it. Sam, you Cheers, take it mate. easy. Bye, mate. Cheers, buddy.